So we're not only here back doing some more League of Legends action, playing some Ur God up in the top lane. We're against Gnar. I went cold this game because I think it's going to be a pretty farm heavy lane. Unless he plays like really aggressive. He has like 500,000 mastery points on Gnar. And I played against him before. I know he's pretty good at Gnar. Did he just instantly clear the wave with one Q? What? Graves OP, man. Um, Probably just going to start Q here. It doesn't really matter. Normally you go E first into like a melee matchup or something. That is ideal. But I think we're just going to kind of like farm it out. If we just farm it out, I come out ahead because I go... Uh, well, first off, I think I outscale. Second off, I have uh, Cole. That'll help as well. Noise. Super important to try and get all of our farm here. Uh, we'll take E second. Shield dash. Pretty useful. A uh, quick rundown of Urgot. Important thing is your leg passive. Your leg passive procs when you auto attack or when you turn on your W. Your W is three fast auto attacks every second. It's like a machine gun. But see that AoE damage that just went off right there? That's the, uh, the legs. Oh, whoops. Okay, just shield it and get out. I want that minion, but I don't, obviously don't want to take a bad trade for it. I'm just going to wait. It's not a big deal. I should think I'm ahead on CS. Right now. <laughs> Nothing, you're just squeaking a lot. Q auto, nice. Turn on W here, get that one. Sweet. You gotta be careful because I just dumped all my mana. But again, I'm not really going to try and fight this guy early game. Just trying to farm here. Avoid poke. So yeah, if I hit from the direction that one of my legs is at, like this, it'll do that AoE damage. Ooh, I don't have enough to one shot. Oh no. There we go. 20 to 20, not bad. It's really good because we're already 20 into this. Yeah, they have an interesting team comp. W max. So yeah, legs do percent HP damage and they have base damage. At level 13, that's like really our power point because we get essentially two items at that point normally or almost our second item. And then we'll also have uh, our passive at maximum damage, which is like 6% uh, max HP. That's for each individual leg and we have six of them. So it's a lot of additional damage. Then obviously our W lets us get them off even faster. Q is a uh, circle to slow if you hit it and also marks the target. Mark targets get hit by your W. So otherwise my W will hit whatever's the closest target. Like right now if I walked up, the second he gets in range I'd be hitting him. See? Oh boy, I'm literally losing all my health to explain this stupid point. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that. I had to pop a potion there unfortunately. Graves mid. Interesting. Damn, that's OP, he says. I don't know about OP, but it's interesting. Should be enough to get all these now if I hit that one. Uh, Alright, I can reset right here. Decent opportunity. I could go Tabby first, or I could just go... Probably gonna get components here. This, this, and Boots. I'm fine with that. He's actually gonna shove the wave out, so... I'm gonna miss this minion. <gasps> Got it. What, what? Noise. That is a weird fight. Oh, I don't know. I thought they pulled Dragon. If they pulled Dragon, that was a horrible fight. Luckily, they did not. They should be able to get out of that. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, they're gonna actually fight, though. Ooh, they're getting kills. I like it. Oh, this is great for us. Look at that. Oh, nice. We just got three right there. Rice got two of them. That's huge. You can even get uh, Dragon off of that. I'm down by 5 CS, but it's the whole wave's right here. Try to clear out the wave here. Go back to base. I don't know why you're spamming, but I'm going to end that right now. <laughs> Just going for the body block right there. Not actually trying to make a play. 
Ooh, I missed it. I think I can start getting aggressive just because I bought and he didn't. I'm gonna start walking up on him. So a uh, play that you can do on Urgot is E and then flash. That's what I did right there. I mean, he wasn't being respectful. He was staying in lane with no items. And then he was like even playing aggressively. So I'm going to punish that all day. He actually tried to jump away, but I caught him in my uh, E. Uh, I probably just want to shove this wave out and look to reset. Mm, I'm going to walk away here. I have to ward. Hope for the best. He's going to die. I'm going to try and slow. I'm not flash for it. Okay. I'm just going to reset here. I mean, we've got a slash for it. It's okay, I guess. Oh, you might know where I am. I'm going to get this in boots. I want to be a little bit faster. It's pretty helpful against Nar too. I think, let me just do a quick rundown. I know I explained legs, but yeah, again, Q circle slows for 1.5 seconds and targets my W. My W, obviously, is a machine gun hits three times a second. You're slowed when you're hitting people, but if I turn it on like right now, I'm not slowed. But if I'm actually hitting people, I am slowed. But you get slow resistance, so you don't... Basically, you'll be slowed by how much your W slows you, which is 125, and you won't really get slowed that much more past that because of how the resistance works. And then your E is a flip if you land it, and there's a shield as well. It scales off of health and attack damage. Your R attaches to units. And if you're able to put them below 25% HP in the 4 second window that you have, it slows, and for 4 seconds you have the opportunity to kill somebody. It pulls them into the center. And then there's an AoE fear, which is really useful in team fights because if you hit somebody with R and you're pulling them into the meat grinder, you can actually just flash onto the rest of their team, and then they all get feared. Am I supposed to be afraid? That was cute. Wanna land those, man. Good try. I kinda trolled there. Dumping a lot of mana here. What was Eve doing? She was trying to steal red buff, then got caught. Cause she was doing it when she really shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, sweet. We can just keep the wave right outside the tower. I'm gonna actually pop Potioner. Uh, didn't really need to, but it's okay. Because now I see the jungle on bot side, so I would've been fine. Oh! Okay. Like, what the fuck? I mean, obviously didn't do that on purpose, but... <laughs> just from across the map, he snipes out my minions. <laughs> That's funny. So now my W's max, so I can actually just leave it up at all times. It's uh, permanent from this point. Which is decent. You do want to turn it off every once in a while. I mean, I'm Urgot, bro. That shit doesn't do anything. <laughs> Did like four damage with that play. Just so tanky as Urgot. As long as we shield, and you can shield like. I'm not explaining it correctly. But like, as, as he's hitting me with something, I can use my E, right? So I counteract whatever he's hitting me with. So if I E as he's trying to ult me, I actually, he, I get ulted, but then I take the E anyways. I'll try and show you later. Same thing with like the W. He's stunning me with his W, but I'm still using my dash while I'm getting CC'd. We have Eve up here. You just have to play passive and then Eve can get the kill. I have to stay back so I don't get hit there. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> it's just so free. Especially if you use it uh, while your opponent's getting CC'd. Because then you can't miss. Oh god. Uh, he still has R. Oh damn, I'm trying to come down, but... I'm here, I can ward this. Whoops. That was kind of slow. You want to come back this way? What? Why you do that? Why you do that? 
I don't have uh, any mana. I'm oom. Um, I didn't really want to play there at all, but it's alright. We're gonna get this. Chill. They don't want to make a play right now. It's kind of bad. D yeah, yeah, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. Oh, she lost all of her Magi stacks. I think we're gonna give. It's because it's up right now and they're just gonna pull it. We can give that. They just have to go really slow. Yeah. It's fine. It's way more important that we don't die. We already have one dragon, so. It's not that big of a deal if they get one. I'm gonna walk here, place my pink down. Get the scuttle crab and then go back top lane. There's a bush, or there's a ward up in that top bush as well. I know you guys are probably crying about it in chat right now. I know there's a pink ward there. I saw it, don't worry. I'll go get it right now. And turn our W on. Kill it in a second and a third. At 1.3 seconds. So we get three autos per second. Uh, the other thing you can do with your W after level 9 is this. Oh. I should have E'd him right there. If I E'd him, I would have won. He double jumped, so... If he jumps in, he has no way to jump out, right? Oh, I didn't finish that point I was trying to make with uh, W. Sometimes it's better to turn your W off, right? So say they were getting out of my range of W, and I can hit either an auto attack once by turning my W off and right-clicking, or I can let my W keep going and get one more W tick. Like, W's can do less damage than an auto, right? Uh, just gonna jump away, right? Ooh. Nah, that was bad. Bad play. Bad play. I tried to finish a kill too quickly. It was... Yeah. Bad play. Tag him with that and he misses it. Pretty good. Walk back here. Move up in this corner. Yeah. Uh, Elise is in top side. Probably just gonna shove and look to reset here. I did finish my call, so... Pretty good opportunity just to back him by. My jungler wants to come, but I don't have anything. For a little bit. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna face check and die. But you have to ult that. Uh, you can die, man. Oh, boy. His abilities were like two seconds away. Not even. That was kind of scary. He was trying to do it without ulting. That's why it went like that. And the other thing you can do with W is on tower, so watch. We're gonna W, two hits. Well, actually, I should have left, led with an auto. So, two hits with W, auto. Two hits with W, auto. Two hits with W, auto. Because it's 50 50, 115. Oh, that's pointless. <laughs> Gotta clear the wave real quick. It hits whatever's closest target. So, I could move closer to the, the tower. By the way, this is only worth doing if you do it correctly. If you don't do it correctly, don't bother wasting your time. I have a teleport to bot lane. They walk forward, this is okay. How the fuck did I miss that? Oh my goodness. That was atrocious. Eve doesn't have ult, so she might die. Hope for the best. Clear out these waves. Reset. Oh my god, that ultimate was so bad. Uh, could get boot upgrade here. Ton of physical damage. They do have a lot of CC, but I also have tenacity in my rune bitch. So it should be alright. Uh, then we'll go like this, this. Get a pink here. E back to lane, E max second. The health and AD funnel into our E shield. So right now we're each shielding for 120 plus 96 plus 161. So it's quite a bit. Was that like over 300, 350? Something like that. I feel like doing quick math. Uh, we could have sold this actually and bought something else. No, we couldn't have. Only could have bought a longsword. Not worth. 
you don't understand what this does, uh, you get one gold for every minion, minion that you kill up to 100, and then at 100, you get uh, 400 or 350 extra gold. So you get 100 extra gold as you go, and then you get 350 at the end. So it's 450 gold. The thing costs 450. And then you can sell it later for 180. So you get all the stat value, and then you come out positive 180 gold. I don't want to be next to tower. I could get ulted under and give away a shutdown. That'd be stupid. Let's walk here, place a pink down, and I'm going to go check this first. Because he's been non-stop pinking this bush. I've killed three pink woods. That's a lot of additional gold. People underestimate... I think I go for tower. Oh, I did it again. I need to leave with an auto. Right, I'm going to try and rotate down. Um, uh, this is going to be bad. Oh, never mind. It's so good for us. Holy shit. Nar didn't get his Mega Nar off. So, yeah. He got killed before he got it off. That was really good for us. Nice play, boys. They all focused him. That would have been a really nice flank if he actually got his ultimate there. Because they won that fight really hard. And I got a top tower. And now I'm going to punish by getting mid tower as well. We can always still go back and get the dragon. Well. Did Eve just die? Yeah. Sorry. Right, they aced him. Didn't get dragon. I'll keep pushing mid. Right click W. Right click W. Right click W. Right click W. That was sloppy. Alright, only a couple mistakes on it. Not too bad. Q here. I'm just gonna walk away. I don't wanna overextend and give up a death. Where's Mount second? We can go uh, Death Dance after. Just make it seem like I have support here. Just by running at him. Oftentimes, like, you can kind of bluff like that. Like, people will be afraid of you. Because, oh, why is this guy running at me like a goofball? And then they think that someone's there. So they play a little bit more respectfully. Uh, we'll go like this, another pink. Ooh, chunked him. You definitely want to get this. Yeah. I just want to clear the wave first. I actually have to clear next one too. Uh, should be okay over there. I don't think there's gonna be a fight or anything. Is he gonna take the next wave? What are we doing? They went back mid lane. We need someone to answer mid. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that. Shove mid and then we can go. Rotate. Beautiful. Oh wait, never mind. We should have done that earlier. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what the time was. My fault. Uh, I'm trying to walk here. I'm looking for a pick. Either way, this allows our mid laner to play super aggressively. I'm gonna pink that just so we know if they spot us or not. Wait for the charm. Oh. That was my fault, man. I waited for the charm and then I got hit by the smoke screen so I couldn't see him. And I didn't want to just blind shoot, but then I ended up blind shooting anyways. I can E, like, I can E right here and flash over the wall and catch somebody. It'd be really cool. Probably want to be splitting here. I don't think we all want to just stack up like this. Yeah. Fall back, get side lane farm. I clear out mid wave here. And I go help him top. We have pinks here, so we know we can kind of walk in. Not get spotted. Yeah, they have a lot of people over here. I wonder if they dropped a ward beforehand. I'm just coming up here to run interference for this guy so he can kind of do what he wants. And we'll be able to... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll be able to see if anybody tries to gank him and then he can potentially just get out because he can use us as vision. Oh, I'm surprised they surrendered. One of them rage quit. It was 3-1, the surrender vote. Um, honestly, everybody on my team played well. I'll give it to this guy. Some of those top lane ganks were well-timed. 
Nice. 12 more Pulse Fire tokens. Oh boy. How am I going to spend all these in one place? I don't know. I don't know. Nice. How much LP did I get? Only 46. All these people are... Man, this dude's D4. Like, come on now. <laughs> Give me more LP than that, dude. That's kind of annoying. I mean, it's the later games, you get less. Oh my god, what? I only did 5,000 damage? It's kind of surprising. Oh, I guess because we're not poking the guy. We're farming lane until we can go for a kill. But, yeah. Damn. This guy did so much damage. That champion is ridiculous. I hate Eve so much. 54 total healing. I mean, you got to remember that we're getting attack damage before we fully stack it up. So <laughs> it's a little different. Plus, we didn't get into major team fights. And mid game is really where you start taking off on this champion. Finish these two items and then you go into your uh, death stance. After that, you just go straight tank. Like, or you can go GA and then straight tank. I mean, I guess you have one item left after that. So GA, dead man's GA, thorn mail, GA, you know, uh, stare. Oh, no, no, not Sterex anymore. GA, uh, Ma, that's the one I'm thinking of. Ma for like a magic resist item that's still offensive. GA for an armor item that's still offensive, right? We're still getting attack damage while we get some defensive capabilities. Because we got a bunch of HP from this plus this and our shield, right? So all we have to do is add resistance stats that we get from death stance and then whatever armor magic resist item we need as the final one. So pretty good game. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on YouTube, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Follow and be alerted when I go live. Thanks for watching. GG Well Played. Peace.